Good day, everyone. And our topic for this day is about summation notation. Summation notation. It is a convenient way of representing the sum of the terms of a finite series. It is also known as a sigma notation. It involves the uppercase Greek letter sigma. Okay, so when we say summation notation, it is used para mas mapaikli ang mga series natin sa sequence. We all know that when we have a series, that is the sum of the terms ng ating sequence. Summation notation, it is the sum of the first n terms of a sequence which is represented by summation of a sub i as i goes from 1 to n is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus up to a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n. Where i is called the index of summation which is found dun sa bottom ng ating Greek letter sigma. N is the upper limit. Okay, nandito sa taas. And I is the lower limit of the summation. For example, we are looking for the sum of the terms ng sequence natin and magsisimula sa second term. Kung magsisimula tayo sa second term, yung ating index of summation, yung I natin, should start at 2. Okay, but in here, I is 1. So, therefore, yung sum ng terms na kinakuha natin sa sequence ay magsisimula sa first term. Properties of sums. Okay, so from these properties, uh, we are referring to the properties of summation notation using the Greek letter sigma. Okay, so if we have A sub i and B sub i are sequences and C is a constant, then, okay, so this time we will have the first property. Summation of C as I goes from 1 to N is equal to CN. So, for example, for this property, let us have our first example. Na kapag meron tayong constant dun sa ating sequence, constant lang, summation of 4 as I goes from 1 to 12, ibig sabihin lang yan, since ito ay constant, all we have to do is to multiply the constant to the upper limit, which is 12. So, in here, we are going to 4 times 12. So, 4 times 12 is equal to 48. So, bali yung nangyari dito is, i-add lang natin yung 4, 12 times. So, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 hanggang 12 times. Okay? So, 48 is the final answer. And from this, we apply the first property. Next, property, we have summation of C times A sub I as I goes from 1 to N is equal to C times summation of A sub I as I goes from 1 to N. In this property, it says that uh, we are going to isolate the constant term from the sequence in the summation. Okay, so for example, okay, we have summation of 3I as I goes from 1 to to 5. So, it is equal to, pwede natin isolate yung 3 dun sa ating summation. So, this becomes 3 times the summation of i as i goes from 1 to 5. Kapag meron tayo summation of i as i goes from 1 to 5, meron shortcut para dyan. Okay, pero from this property, it says that uh, we can isolate the constant number from the sequence. So, to solve for this, uh, we have 3 times, okay, i, yung i natin, kukunin natin yung sum from 1 to 5. So, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, mamaya, sa susunod properties natin, merong isang paraan ng pag-add na mas uh, maikli ng ganitong uh, pag-add ng counting numbers. So, in here, we have 3 times 1 plus 2, that is 3, plus 3, 6, plus 4, 10, plus 5, 15. Okay, so 3 times 15, it is equal to 45. Third property, if we have this summation of A sub i plus or minus B sub i as i goes from 1 to n, it is equal to According to this property, if we have two terms in our sequence, pwede natin paghiwalayin yung dalawang terms na yun. 
Okay, so from this, we will have summation of a sub i as i goes from 1 to n plus or minus, depending sa given, summation of b sub i as i goes from 1 to n. So for example, we have this uh, series, summation of, okay, so this is our example, summation of uh, 3i plus 7 as i goes from 1 to 5. So from this, Pwede natin paghiwalayin yung dalawang terms natin. So, we have uh, for this uh, part ng 3i, i-isolate na natin yung constant. We have 3, then summation of i as i goes from 1 to 5, and then plus summation of 7 as i goes from 1 to 5. So, in here, we can solve this by 3 times. Uh, we are going to add counting numbers from 1 to 5. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Again, so kapag meron tayong summation of i, meron tayong shortcut para dyan. Okay, and then plus 5 times 7. So, in here we have 3 times 1 plus 2, that is 3, plus 3, 6, plus 4, 10 plus 5, that is 15. Okay, and then plus 5 times 7. Simplifying this, so we have 3 times 15, that is 45, plus uh, 5 times 7 equals 35. Then the final answer is 45 plus 35. The answer is 80. 80 is the final answer. is obtained by using the third property of sums. Number 4. Summation of i as i goes from 1 to n, it is equal to n times a quantity of n plus 1 all over 2. So, in this property, okay, pinapakita na ito yung pagkuha ng sum ng counting numbers from 1 to nth number. Okay, so for example, if n here is 100, using this formula, makukuha natin yung sum from numbers 1 to 100 na hindi natin ginagamit ang 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to 100. This formula is formulated by Carl Gauss. So, for example, uh, we have to look for the summation of i as i goes from 1 up to 100. So, in here, we are going to use uh, this formula n times n plus 1 all over 2. So, our n here is 100. Okay? Then, times 100 plus 1 all over 2. So, we will have 100 times 101 all over 2. So, ito, pwede natin simplify 100 divided by 2, that is 50. 50 times 101, that is 5,050. 5,050 that is the sum from numbers 1, 2, hanggang 100. Okay, next property, we have summation of i squared as i goes from 1 to n. It is equal to n times the quantity of n plus 1 times the quantity of 2n plus 1 all over 6. So, from here, kinukuha naman natin ng sum yung mga perfect square numbers. So, we have 1. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus dot 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 plus n squared. Okay, so from this, we have uh, we have to use this formula para mas papabilis yung ating pagsusolve ng series. So, wala tayong problema kung n natin isubaba. Ano ba ba? Hanggang 4 lang. Okay, and then pag add lang natin, 1 plus, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. For example, if we have summation of i squared as i goes from 1 up to 5. So, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. So, dito, magbigil ako ng my clean uh, number, my liit na number. Okay, so, we have uh, 5 times 5 plus 1, base dito sa ating formula, times uh, 2 times 5 plus 1 all over 6. So, it is equal to 5 okay, times 5 plus 1, that is 6, times 2 times 5, that is 10, plus 1 equals 11, all over 6. 
Okay, so 5 times 6 times 11, all over 6, ito pwede natin ma-cancel. So, 5 times 11 is equal to 55. Okay, kapag sinabi naman natin siya, uh, gamit ang perfect square numbers, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25, it is equal to 1 plus 4 equals 5, plus 9, that is 14, plus 16, that is 40, Let 1, 2, 3, go. 1 plus 4 equals 5 plus 9 equals 14 plus 16 equals 30. 30 plus 25, uh, it gives 55 also. So, again, pwede natin gamitin itong formula na ito, itong property na ito. Kasi, kapag ang given natin sa n ay mas malaki pa, so, mas convenient gamitin itong property na ito. So, as well as if we have cube numbers, uh, summation of i cube as i goes from 1 to n, it is equal to n times the quantity of n plus 1 times the quantity of 2n plus 1 all over 6 raised to, all over raised to 2. So, for example, no, ibig sabihin, kinukuha naman natin yung sum ng perfect cube numbers. So, if we have i, summation of i cube as i goes from 1 up to 4. Okay, so it is equal to lahat ng n natin dito ay mapalitan lang natin ng 4. So we have 4 times 4 plus 1 times 2 times 4 plus 1 all over 6 then squared. Okay, so we have 4 times 4 plus 1 equals 5. Okay, and then 2 times 4 that is 8. Plus 1, that is 9. All over 6. Okay, and then cancel natin yung pwede natin i-cancel. So, 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. So, cancel natin. Ito mayiging 3, ito mayiging 2. Ang 4, ay divisible, 4 and 2 ay divisible by 2. So, cancel natin. Ito mayiging 2, ito mayiging 1. So, ang matitira is 2 times 5 times 3. That is equal to 30. Okay, and then... Uh, squared natin siya. Okay, so base dito sa ating property, we have to square it. So, 30 squared, that is equal to 900. 900 is obtained uh, from summation of i cube as i goes from 1 to 4. Okay, this time, we are going to evaluate the following series through using the properties of sum. Okay, so we have summation of 5i minus 11 as i goes from 1 to 9. So, as you observe from our sequence, we have two terms. The first term has a constant and a variable or yung letter i natin. Okay, so from this, uh, through using the properties of sum, i-isolate natin yung constant term. So, we have 5 times the summation of i as i goes from 1 up to 9. And then minus, okay, uh, we have summation of 11 as i goes from 1 up to 9. Okay, so simplifying this, okay, kapag meron tayong i, gagamitin natin yung n times n plus 1 all over 2. So we have 5 times, okay, ang n natin dito is 9 times n plus 1. So 9 plus 1 yun magiging 10. All over 2. Okay, and then minus 9 uh, constant times the upper limit. So, 9 times 11. Okay, so simplifying this, we will have uh, ito from this. Pwede natin itong simplify. Simplify. 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So, in here, uh, we have 5 times 9 times 5 minus 9 times 11. So, 225 minus 99 is equal to 126. 126 is the final answer. Next, summation of 3i squared plus i minus 2 as i goes from 1 to 7. So, isa-isahin natin yan. So, we have a 3 summation of i squared as i goes from 1 to 7 
Okay, plus a summation of i as i goes from 1 to 7. Then minus a summation of 2 as i goes from 1 to 7. So in this, uh, we are going to have 3 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay, and then plus uh, n times n plus 1 all over 2 minus 2 times 7. Okay, so yung n natin dito ay magmumula doon sa upper limit natin. So we have 3 times 7 times 7 plus 1 equals 8. Okay, and then 2 times 7 equals 14 plus 1 equals 15 all over 6 and then plus n again is 7. 7 times uh, n plus 1 that is 8 all over 2 then minus 2 times 7 equals 14. Okay, so from this we will have, okay, ito simplify natin c3. And si 6 ay kayang uh, isimplify pagiging 1 half. So, ito magiging 2. Tapos, yung 8 divided by 2, pwede din natin isimplify. Ito magiging 4. So, magiging 7 times 4 times 15 for the first term. Okay, and then plus 7 times 8 divided by 2. Okay, pwede din ito isimplify. 8 divided by 2 magiging 4. So, magiging 7 times 4. Then minus 14. Okay, so we have here now 420. And then plus 7 times 4 equals 28 minus 14. Is equal to 434. 434 is the final answer. Okay, next. Letter C, if we have summation of I squared over 2 as I goes from 1 to 12. So from here... We all know that i squared over 2 can be written as 1 half times i squared. Okay, so pwede natin isolate ngayon yung constant na 1 half dun sa left side ng sigma. So from here, we have 1 half. Okay, and then summation of i squared as i goes from 1 to 12. Then we have 1 half. Okay, times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And our n here is 12. So, we have 1 half of 12 times 12 plus 1, maybe 13. Okay, and then times 2n, 12 times 2, that is 24, plus 1 equals 25. Okay, and then all over 6, all over 6. So, to simplify this, 12 divided by 6, we are getting 2. Okay, and then also, uh, we have 1 half times uh, 2 times 13 times 25, 650. Okay, so we have 650. Okay, and then one half of 650 is equal to 325. 325 is the final answer.